Thousands of residents across Southeast Texas have been dealing with power outages related to Hurricane Laura. From Montgomery County to Galveston County residents, they were left in the dark despite Laura missing our area completely. Channel 2's Mario Diaz joining us live in Conroe this afternoon with an update on the power issues. Mario? And Christine, let's get right to it. I spoke with officials at uh, Energy earlier today. They told me they are virtually back to 100%. They are dealing with the daily hiccups that they see all the time, but everyone that was impacted last night is back up and running today with power, according to them. Now, the talk around here today, 24 hours after the power went out, is exactly why it went out and how it went out, considering that we are hundreds of miles away here in Conroe from where Laura made landfall. Power runs a long way. Indeed, it does. And parts of the woodlands in Conroe found out the hard way. Yeah, we lost power yesterday, and I'm a contractor. The loss of power, the result of what landed 200 miles away in Cameron, Louisiana, two nights ago, Hurricane Laura. When you found out the power in this area is connected to Louisiana, what was your reaction? Man, I was really surprised. I was really surprised. Here's how it is connected. Entergy Texas, a company with ties to Louisiana, has a small Texas presence as seen in the orange section of this map. Their provider is MISO. Officials say with several key lines damaged, MISO had to maintain a level of 60 hertz to ensure that the entire grid would not fail. To avoid losing the grid for the region, they redirected power away, which resulted in Thursday's blackouts in Texas. We have to be mindful that this is a serious weakness. We've seen it 15 years ago. We've seen it now. State Senator Paul Bettencourt dealt with electrical supply issues during Rita. He says it is time for the state to examine moving utility boundaries to where all of Texas feeds off one system. We're the only state that has an independent power grid in the country, and it would just be great for the entire state to be able to have advantage of that. Yeah, many people surprised that uh, lines in Louisiana were impacting them here in Texas when we spoke today. Now, uh, Entergy did say that they are not anticipating any more blackouts in Texas. And I asked the official, does that mean that they will not happen? Uh, they indicated that the system is still very, very fragile. However, they have taken measures to hopefully prevent any type of blackouts here in the coming days. Live in Conroe, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. A strange occurrence explained, Mario. Thank you.